Hello, wonderful person. Welcome to What the Math. This is Anton, and we're playing Souls Project. This is the full version of the game. And I think I'm getting too hot. Luckily, I have this cold device that will cool me down. And... Oh, boy. I need to find a bottle. Hey, look at that picture of a dog. That's awesome. All right, so... I, in this part, we're going to try to find those idols that we have to find. I found a tower part. And what is this? Battery pack. And it looks like in this part, we might actually meet the monster that is making a very scary noise that you might hear very soon. Because it seems to be not very happy with its current situation. And possibly is going to try to kill us. Actually, I am almost 95% sure that it's going to try to do just that. Now, where am I now? Do I need to go here? That looks like a passage. Okay. It's a dark passage. What is happening here? Hello? Is anyone home? Okay, so this is just nothing, right? Yeah. That's just a dead end. But, we can go through here. And now I'm completely lost, but there is some sort of a signal here. Let's go figure out what that is. I only found one idol so far. I need to find three more. And I think after that we're just basically making our way up to that tower and... And doing something there, I guess. And there's the monster sound. That is what I was talking about. Hey, what's this? Star sign. That's new. Bestows a perk. How do I get that? Wait, it gave me something, but I can't see because it's shaking too much. Oh, boy. I, I think I'm, I got some kind of a buff. I don't know how long it will last, but we're not very long. Okay, so... Ooh, what's that? Is that dolphins? Oh, I wish I had binoculars in this game, but I don't. Those look like little creatures. I wonder if they are. Well, there's only one way to find out. Do I dare? Do I dare? Well, I've learned the hard way that the game won't, will not let you go that far, actually. I think there's like an invisible wall that you can't pass. Well, that's okay. You know what? That's fine. Where was I? Where was I actually going? I totally forgot. It's a good thing there's these beacons that tell me where I used, where I was already. Where I uh, came from. But did I see... Yeah, okay. I saw the eye. And then I went here. There's a beacon there. And then... I guess we're going here. I guess we're going here. I've read this, I think. This is talking about the... Uh, the two teams that separated. One team went down the, um, underground and became the so-called Enlightened. And then they basically all died because they opened that sphere. And the other team stayed on the surface. And I think they also all died because we don't see them anymore. And so far, there's only one mystery remains, and that's the mystery of the one survivor that was walking around. What's that? Oh, hey! Delivery! Hey! What are you gonna bring me? Is it pizza? Space pizza! So, yeah, that one guy who survived, or I guess it's not a guy really, it's the alien dude. But that's the only mystery we have. So he survived somehow. Oh, geez, that was not smart. Uh, he survived and he is somewhere around. There's all these letters from Frederick. I haven't really been reading them, but he's kind of just talking about how he was on the spaceship and he was like meeting people and living his life. Nothing really important. Tower part. And there's more of Frederick. I think that was possibly another survivor who's probably dead by now. Who we're going to find out very... Or I guess whose body we're going to find very soon. But I hear beeping. Where is the beeping coming from? Ooh, look at what I just found. A pillow. Improved sleep. Very rare. Sleep. Sleep near. Uh, I'm going to dump something. You know what? I've never used this thing, so I'm going to just dump that. I don't even know what I have this cable. But the pillow I might use. It says sleep near the pillow to improve your sleep. Oh, water. 
And suddenly, nighttime. Look at this beauty. Gorgeous moon and asteroids. And I think the beeping was actually coming from here. It's coming from the rocket. Free delivery. Here we go. Ooh, look what all this stuff it's giving us. Water bottle. Energy food. Water bottle. Is there any... I, I need a health pack, please and thank you. I don't need energy food. I need a health pack. I have plenty of stuff. Uh, there's no health pack in here. Well, that's unfortunate. Because that is probably the most useful thing you could have sent me. Is that a dog? Is that a dog? Is that a dog? Is that a dog? Oh, it's a doggy. Fan photo number seven, 715. Alright, well, so it looks like I'm basically just going up, up here. Because that's probably where the second idol is. But I also have to remember to carry my torch around because it's getting really, really cold. Um, I am hoping for an idol. But I, instead I get a dead guy who's spread out. Alright, idol number two. Excellent. So, now what? That way. Alright. Moving on, we have two out of four. I think the third one is probably over there. So we have to move to that other location. The, these are surprisingly easy to find because it's a relatively linear area. And um, I'm basically just walking straight, essentially. Nothing really unusually hard so far, except, of course, for the fact that there's elements everywhere. I almost got killed by the lightning, had to go back to the cave and actually sleep. Which I didn't really record because it was it would have been a waste of your time to see me go back to the cave, drink the water, eat the food, sleep, 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 just to restore my health. But I had to do it. This is what the this is what editing is for, right? Okay, I think I'm going to. It's getting really cold. I think I'm going to have to go this way. Now I think for some reason I prefer when this planet is actually dark and cold, but when it's not raining. It's kind of, it's very relaxing when you just walk around, there's like skies everywhere and stars and beauty. Um, what's interesting is that I don't really see the Milky Way, which is very unusual. It looks like we're inside some sort of a star cluster, but very far from the Milky Way. So I wonder if this is actually a realistic representation of where this um, exoplanet is supposed to be, because you would have th thought, or I would have thought at least, uh, that um, you would be somewhere closer to the Milky Way, which th this sky doesn't seem to show us. So maybe that's a little inconsistency with the science there, game developers. If you're watching this, you know what I mean? Where's the Milky Way, eh? Where's the Milky Way? Anyway, moving on. Keep jumping here. Oh, hey, we found the third one. Let's go and get that third idol, and then we have one more to go. All right, idol number three found. Um, now we're going to go... Oh, jeez, I'm stuck now. Where am I going? I think I'm going this way. Do I need to use my teleporter here, or can I just walk through here? Oh, yeah, look at that. It's all walkable. And now we just have to find one more idol, and then face the, the source of that horrible screechy noise that is possibly some sort of a monster. I'm guessing that's where the fourth idol is, but I'm not exactly sure. What is that? There's something blinking right there. I'm gonna go check it out. What is that? I, I don't think I've actually been here yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I should be jumping down, but... Ooh, look at the beauty. Some sort of aurora. But I'm also interested in what that blinky thing is, so let's go check it out. Oh, that's, that would have been a... Very, very, very long fall that would have probably resulted in our death. What is this? Tower part. Yay! One day I'm gonna find that tower. Inventory full. Water. Messages. Now, there was something blinking here. Oh! That was just a glitch, maybe? That monster seems to be a little bit closer than, than it used to be. Definitely sounding sounding more and more loud. All right, so I don't what what is going on here? I don't see I don't see anything. Why was it calling me here? 
There's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. Okay, so the sun is actually coming out. Um, but I still haven't really found that fourth idol. So this was idol number three. Now, where is that fourth one? I've been walking around in circles here for a few minutes. Trying to discover where it is. I don't think I need my torch anymore, so I'm going to put it away. Uh, let's take out the flashlight. Where are you, idol number four? Which of these beacons have it? I may have missed it or something. Well, let's just go here. I think I may have not been here before because I don't remember seeing this thing. And let's see if it's maybe somewhere this way. Oh, wait, there's a save game. Finally. That only took forever. Good thing I didn't die. Uh, I also hear the water. There's the water source. Oh, heights of oscillation. Interesting. I have been looking for you for so long. Thank you, water. For helping me not die. Alright, so then. Oh, there's a cave. Wait a second. Look at this beautiful area. And listen to that beautiful roar. The T-Rex is really, really angry. I actually am totally not looking forward to meeting that creature. But I am sure you are, because... Oh, oh no, 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 no. Well, if it's not rain, it's snow. And if it's not snow, it is super dangerous asteroid that will probably kill me. I know, I just found a buff. Resistance to starvation. I'm just gonna wait here. I think it's a pretty safe area. I hope it's a pretty safe area. Okay, asteroids, thank you for not killing us. Uh, now what? I don't know. I don't know. This game is just trying to kill us in so many different ways. Alright then, so, moving on with our lives. We're trying to find the lost idol. And I don't know where to go to find that lost idol. Now, can it be in this passage that I just saw a second ago? Because there is some sort of a hidden passage. And there's possibly something in there. It's a door. Reminder, your survival is of paramount importance to the continued existence of mankind. Alright, so this door has some sort of a opening thingy-majiggy somewhere. But where, I do not know. This is clearly a door that can be opened from... Oh, hi. Milestone 3 out of 5. Oh, okay. That's the name of that area. Well, alright, so that wasn't very... productive at all. Um... Well, it sounds like I may have either missed idol number 4 or haven't reached it yet. And I'm gonna hope for the latter. Let's hope that it's coming up soon because it's getting really hot again. Oh, no. So for a couple of minutes now, I've been walking through these funny passages. Nothing seems to be happening. It's just this. And I, I am definitely going higher up, but still haven't found in the idol. I found this guy, though. Or a girl. I'm not sure. Um, I really hope that I haven't missed it because I don't know where it would even be. I have absolutely no idea. If I have missed the idol, I don't know where to track back. Because it was supposed to be by those, like, uh, beacons, right? And I think I've covered all the beacons. Alright, another water passage. Um, this is very interesting. It's kind of guiding me somewhere. Oh, wait a second. Uh, no, I've been there. I've been there for sure. This does look very familiar. But I'm definitely not going in circles, I, I think, I believe. I hope. Because it kind of does look different. A little bit. Okay, you are not the same guy, right? Yeah, yeah. You're a totally different guy. Forsaken Dream, 3 out of 3. Okay, I haven't read this yet. While finished uh, finishing the Great Wings, Kerr came to find us. He told of the horrors caused by the Sky Ones. Otuku and his fanatics are defending the Underworld from those who doubt them. They have forsaken us. Is this how we will meet our end? So, they were building some kind of a wingy thingy-majiggy? Oh, wait a second. Is that a... 
Is that a beacon? Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe I just haven't reached it yet. Now, I've been using my cold device because it's suddenly super hot here. Let me just check if it's still hot. Uh, okay, it's a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, this planet is suddenly super hot. And I'm kind of struggling here. But I think I found the beacon. I think it's right there. Let's go through here, I think. Heights of Oscillation 4. Milestone 4 out of 5. Okay. We're on the right track. The Trial 6 out of 12. Um, opening the bowl must have alerted the Sky Ones. They arrived promptly. Perhaps they were aware the entire time. Only a few were saved, uh, some from their sinister fate. And the betrayal ran deep. Kogoni looked more disappointed than wrathful. Okay. And it looks like this is someone who got punished for opening the bowl. I don't know if you remember, in one of the previous parts, it was actually one of the astronauts that came with us that was on that thing. So, it looks like those aliens may actually think that we're here and need to be punished as well. Trial 7 out of 12. Kagoni announced their executioner. They who covered the whole land may go there by the most direct route. Then, with the slam of his sap scepter, he summoned it. It walked in on horned feet, a great demon. Oh, it looks like that's the demon I'm about to discover. It entered behind us with the families. Oh, okay. Is that is that it? That's the demon? That is the demon that you talk about? And it's probably inside that thing, right? Oh, that's great. Exactly what I was missing in my life right now. After seeing those shadow monsters and... Oh, okay. So that's a picture... <sighs> picture... What is that? Picture worth a thousand words. So basically, the demon caused them to jump to their deaths. That's where they all are now. The demon enforced the sentence. 43 families, children, partners, grandparents, along with the surviving exiled traders, were walked out of the back of the great mill into open air, far above ground. Their torment was heard and heeded by all. So looks like people underground died, people above ground died, everyone died. What a happy end to the, the beautiful alien race with a funny egg shape. Hey, what is that in the distance there? Uh, I wonder. Where is my doll? Here it is, idol number four. Oh, is this where they uh, jump down from here? Activated the windmill pumps. They jump from here? Oh, don't shake. Danger, danger. Well, okay. I think I've been everywhere now. This is a pretty beautiful island if you actually look at it from, from above here. Alright, well, goodbye, sir. Thank you for giving me all the idols. My apologies for your demise and your unfortunate death. It is time for us to go and face the monster. I don't know what that means, but... Look, oh, looks like they were slaving for the aliens and they had bowls everywhere. That explains a lot of things. Not really. After the trial finished, the orbs appeared. We don't know what they do. They float near us, skirt us out of our sight whenever we approach. The shell of the trust between us and the sky ones, the bowl, lies broken in the caves. Their cracked power source. Okay, so it's kind of making a little bit more sense. Why is the music so loud? Basically, I think what happened was... Oh. I'm sorry. I think what happened was, uh, so the aliens came to this world, they became slaves, they were not happy. Some people decided to try to break away, and the other people that didn't break away were punished. 43 families were killed, some of them I guess remained alive. Um, oh, there's another island right there. And and uh, the people that went downstairs, that went into the uh, underground, were killed by opening the orb, by the shadow that emerged from under, uh, from within it. The mill too. Build on Galea in the sec 22nd year after Exodus at the Archipelago of Dawn. Now, I'm, g I'm gathering... So, originally these uh, aliens that became slaves, they were basically brought here by the more advanced, taller aliens. But they came here because their original planet was not doing so well. And it sounds like it was probably the taller aliens that possibly caused this. They possibly just, like, tricked them into saying that, hey, come with us, we're gonna, you know, bring you to a better life. But they ended up just destroying, I guess, uh, or not destroying, but enslaving the smaller aliens, making them, oh, what's this? Making them work for them, basically. 
And maybe that's what they did to humanity as well. Maybe they brought us here because they want us to become their slaves. Anyway, so looks like this is going to be the part where we unlock the horrible monster on the win on the inside within this whatever thingy. And chances are things will go horribly wrong for us in the next video. And that's right. We're going to stop this here. Thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Game you later. Bye-bye.